Hello, hello, once again. So I see this uh, asked quite a lot is, you know, can auto hotkeys be uh, used to control other stuff besides just your PC? Uh, it gets asked a lot with gaming on like phones and stuff. You can't really do that. There are apps out there that are like auto hotkeys that are made for Android. Um, the only way you could do it on your computer is if you download it a like emulator for Android. That you could probably do and mess around with. But today I'm going to show you how to actually control your PlayStation 4. This should also work on PlayStation 5, no problem. I don't have an Xbox at the moment, so I don't really know if there's a remote play feature on Xbox. If there is and you got one, please let me know in the comments below. I'm just uh, kind of curious about that. I would assume they would. I mean, PlayStation's had it around for a very long time, so... I would hope that Xbox has, you know, got their game up there too. So let's go ahead and take a look a little bit at the code, and then we're going to show you how it kind of functions with a, the help of another program and remote play. So let's jump into that code. Let me zoom in here a little bit for you guys. So I'm going to start with uh, set match mode 2. I uh, explained that in other videos, that's just letting me uh, target windows a little bit better. Set batch lines. I recommend using this. Uh, you know, remote play can be pretty heavy on your computer, and this is going to help your code run a lot smoother. Uh, coordinate mode, pixel window. Uh, that way, if you're using any type of pixel search or image searching uh, for your game, you might need that there. And then the basic no environment, and I set my key delay to uh, 0 0.50 there. But I've explained a lot of that in other code, but I do recommend just putting all this in there for you. So I want to activate my script, which is just going to be an auto miner, like in my last Minecraft video on PC. But this is going to be an auto miner for the PlayStation version. So I'm going to do if when active remote, which I think the full name is called PS Remote Play. So I'm just making sure that the screen has the word remote in it. Uh, we don't want to accidentally press the F1 key while we're in Chrome or something and have it send a bunch of weird commands to it and, you know, do stuff you don't want it to do by accident. So the first thing I'm going to do is send J down. Uh, the way I have this set up with the program I have, it emulates a PlayStation controller. J is the mining on the uh, console. Sleep, uh, one millisecond. I'm in uh, creative mode, so everything breaks instantly. So if you're playing creative mode, you only need that sleep one millisecond. But if you're going to be playing in actual like survival mode, this should be more like a thousand milliseconds. It's something you got to play with, depending on what you're going to be doing. If you're using the auto miner, you know you do need this. If you're doing it for I don't know, something else, you might not even need a sleep. But a sleep just means kind of take a quick pause before you run the next command. Then I want to send uh, J up so that it stops mining. Send W down, which means walk forward. 100 milliseconds will get me to the next block. So I'm done. Send stop walking, W up. And then I just have, I put a sleep here for 500 milliseconds, which is half a second and then do it again. So basically what this is doing is J down is going to start mining for one millisecond. It's going to stop mining, and then it's going to walk forward a little bit, take a break, do it all again. Now if I'm not in the remote play, maybe I accidentally tab out or click on another window, like Chrome or something, it's going to see that, oh, He's no longer in Minecraft, or he wasn't even there to begin with, or, you know, whatever uh, remote game you're playing. I'm going to have an else down here to break the loop, which just then throws the message box. Auto mining stopped. So, mine script here is very basic. You know, you don't have to use Minecraft. You don't have to do auto mining. You, you could do, you know, pretty much any game out there. Uh, definitely watch a lot of my other videos on just basic coding to really figure out. This video is more about what to do with the code once you've made it and how to work it with the game. And then I got F2 down here, which just reloads my script. That way, if I'm in the game and I want to stop mining, I just push F2, and it resets, and it waits for me to want to push F1 again to mine. 
So that's pretty much, uh, you know, very simple code here, nothing too fancy, but it gets the job done. So the program I got here is called PlayStation 4 Keyboard and Mouse Adapter. Uh, this should probably still work on PlayStation 5. don't have one. I don't think a lot of people do since they're always out of stock right now. Um, but let me know if you guys do end up testing. But you can download that from this website. And I'll obviously include this in the description below. But you're just going to kind of scroll down here until you find that download link right here. It's currently version 1.0.11. Uh, if you need any instructions, you know, it's only a few very basic steps here. And uh, I'll just give a shout out to the guy who created this. Uh, looks like his username is Pancake Sleep, SLP, maybe. Not sure. Um, so thank you to him. Maybe he'll see this video for uh, doing all the work on this. I'm sure, you know, it was a lot of work. You know, that's what it's going to look like, but we're going to check that out for real. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this, and when I do, it's going to actually automatically launch PlayStation Remote Play, which if you don't have that, you can download from their website. A uh, few tips and tricks for PlayStation Remote Play. Uh, make sure you have your... Uh, account name, password ready to go because you need that to sign in here and connect to your uh, network. And if it doesn't find your PlayStation, you can enter a, a code manually by going to your settings, remote play, and the code will be in there. So you just type that in and it'll find it automatically on the same network. Um, you have to enable remote play on your PlayStation also, just in case you've never done that. Uh, I don't know if it defaults to being connected or not, so you probably have to do that and scroll over there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and launch these, just so you guys don't see my uh, information there. I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. So for you guys, that was only probably a few second or two, but for me it was like 10 minutes. I was just kind of waiting for day time to break here. So as soon as I launched this program, it automatically launched on here. I just had to push connect. It was pretty quick, you know, depends on your internet and whatnot. Um, but it looks pretty good. Looks the same as it does on my TV over there. Um, so you can change your settings in here to what you want your key bindings to be. Um, I'm just using the default here. Uh, the only thing I like to really change is enable the mouse uh, input there and then have my joystick, which is this right here, activate it. Uh, just because the default is using uh, J-I-K-L for your second joystick, and that's really weird to have both your hands on the keyboard controlling, like, movement. So I definitely recommend putting these up there. The only thing to really be careful with these, uh, I don't know if it's just me, but when I have both these activated, if I click on this window bar up here to move it around, it for some reason glitches this whole screen off my computer and then I have to push control shift escape and shut it down manually and go back in. So once you start playing, you know, activate those, but if at some point you need to move your window or push one of these buttons up here, just go back to this window real quick by either clicking on it or pushing alt tab to cycle your windows and just turn them off and then move it or uh, minimize it because it will do some weird stuff. It will glitch off your screen. If it doesn't fully gl glitch off your screen, the graphics for some reason get like really bad. So I don't know if that's an issue with the PlayStation Remote or this program, or Windows maybe in general, um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. So as you saw in my code, you know, there's that W for the joystick up. And then for mining, I got, I think it was J up here, which is R2. And that's just mining in Minecraft. So let's go ahead and activate these. Jump over to the window. Actually, let me run my script first. So I'm just in creative mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I just got to remember what these buttons are here. I'm just going to lay a line down here. That should be good. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of, you know, look at my first block here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead, push F1. It's going to push that uh, J down to start mining. 
walk forward, and then do it again. Like I said, I'm in creative mode, so it's going to do everything instantly. Obviously, if you're doing survival, you know, just play around with those sleeps and stuff, and you'll uh, figure it out. So, not touching the keyboard. And my characters, you know, just breaking the block, walking forward. And if I'm ready, I can just push F2, and it stops it, and it's waiting for me to, you know, be ready to do it again. So, you know, I can just push F1 here. Okay, hands are off the keyboard. And it gets a little ahead of myself just because I'm breaking everything instantly. So it breaks uh, a little bit farther than I'm walking. So I, in this, I would probably just adjust my uh, walking sleep to be a little bit faster. And F2 to stop it. So yeah, that is how I have automated a simple task in Minecraft. I could, once I got the settings and sleeps a little bit better, I could just, you know, walk away and, uh, you know, maybe come back like an hour later and have, you know, a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory there. Like I said, you know, you can do lots of other games. If anybody does actually get this working in another game with a cool script they want to share, please comment below or just let us know what you did with this because I'm sure other people would like ideas on or maybe even help on how to do something like this. But like I said, if I want to move that window again, I'm just going to go ahead and go over here, turn these off. Now I can minimize it for myself. I'll put my code down in the description below along with that link to where you can download the PlayStation 4 and I'll also include the link for the PlayStation Remote Play. If you guys like this video, definitely subscribe. I do two to three videos every week. Uh, if you're new to Auto Hotkeys, which is what I used here to automate a lot of this, uh, definitely watch some of my other videos so you can learn the very basics and make your own script. Uh, this is more just, like I said, targeted at, you know, how to use the PlayStation keyboard uh, program and the PS remote. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. See you next one.